Hello, Leo, and welcome to your love reading. I'm going to be posting these on October 16th, 2020, but they're for the weekend and on from then. I'm going to be using a few decks. All the decks that I use will be listed in the description box below. Leo, I apologize uh, beforehand, but the uh, apparently the Mercury retrograde has definitely had an effect on me. <laughs> We're going to be starting with a angel answer card. And at the end of the reading, the angel answer card will either answer, you know, be part of the reading, or it will answer whatever question you have at the end, Leo. So can I get a card for Leo? Card for Leo. Card for Leo. Okay, I don't normally take two cards, but I'm going with it because... I have been getting anywhere from three to six or ten cards. It's been crazy. So I'm just not arguing with the cards. If that's what they want to do, let them do it. <laughs> and now we're going to get you a Romance Angel Oracle card, Leo. Can I get a Romance Angel Oracle card for Leo? Oh, okay. So what did you get, Leo? You got Let Your Friends help you. Ask for and ask support from others. And what they show is they show a bride getting ready and they show all her bridesmaids and even a little cherub helping. And I think that it's just saying if you need support in your relationship, don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, I have to say that sometimes the best advice you'll get is from somebody who's been there where you are, you know, so don't be afraid to ask, you know, of course, be mindful of where the information comes from whenever you do get advice that, you know, if it's a couple who's had, you know, depending on how you view the relationship, Leo, that could determine how you take their advice. Then again, I imagine you wouldn't be asking someone unless you believed that they were knowledgeable in whatever you're dealing with in your relationship. See what I mean? It's that whole Mercury retrograde. It's just like... Okay, any more cards for Leo? Seven, six, five, four, three... Two and one. Okay, so these cards are done talking. <laughs> There's something on my announcements. I'm so sorry. The Ten of Cups. I don't know if you need help or not. <laughs> I think that right now, this is how you viewed your relationship. But there's something going on. This to me is what you, how you thought it was going, but this is what it's doing now. Nothing. And I say nothing because the Four of Swords is time out. It's like a time out. It can be, it can be praying, meditating, contemplating, thinking. This to me means that someone in the relationship has taken, is making some kind of, or taking some kind of a pause. Let's see. We're gonna, let's get some more clarity. We, we need clarity on the Four of Swords because right now it's just kind of this relationship looked like it was the end all and be all. And, oh, do I really want to take all those cards, Leo? Okay. Right. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, might as well keep going. These have been the longest readings ever. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is being partly successful. So you, you know, the relationship seemed great. But then somebody's not there. Now this is a soldier who, yes, he's ready for battle, but he's taken a pause. Oh, I have to laugh. We have the Queen of Swords, which means there could be an air sign involved. 
Now the Queen of Swords is generally like a welcoming card because this hand is usually up like this, like come on over. But to me, this one is guarded. She's guarded, you know. Well, this is making me sad, Leo, because I have the feeling this relationship was like everything. It was great. I have terrible, oh, my cards are annoying me. Sorry. <laughs> I need sticky tack. So this to me, let's see here. So somebody's taking a pause or just isn't there. I don't know why they're not there, but they're not there. And so it's like, I don't know. So to me, don't laugh. And there's the, there's a new moon or it looks like a new moon to me. And he's got five swords and he's running away and there's two still there. So it's kind of like, to me, and I don't know why, but I'm thinking this is like your imagination running wild with you, Leo, because everything was great and now you're like, wait a minute. And so the Queen of Swords, I'm actually going to look in this book because the Queen of Swords it's, you know, and in this book, it talks about the hand representing quick wits and a sharp tongue. Um, this to me, almost like she's not really saying something because that hand that usually goes like this is not there. Um, it says the widow, like other women, is diffi in difficulty, continues bravely despite loss. Her keen intelligence and cool, logical approach make her appear aloof. So this to me says what I'm feeling is that somebody in this relationship is taking a pause not that they're not happy and they don't want the relationship but they're just not they're doing something else and this one and they're seeming aloof like this is just not something's not right so and so the other one is here we go we have the nine of swords so we're worried and we're up in our head like where is this going you know, we had such a, a bright future, a bright start, you know, and then you have the Knight of Wands, which comes blowing in, you know, there's just no thought, there's just go. And he's hell bent. So this is interesting. This is the kind of reading everybody is getting today for tomorrow. And then we have the Ten of Cups and the Empress. So this is what I have to say. This is my take on this reading. <sighs> you need your friends to help you because you are worried about what's happening in this relationship. Everything was beautiful. This is how you and everybody around you viewed the relationship. This was a relationship that was gonna be the happy family, the happy home and everything. It was everything, your cups overflowing. But something happens or isn't happening and someone is on a break or a pause. Not that they're not in the relationship. And I say it's not that they're in the relationship because to me, I see the, the, the stained glass here and it made me think of a couple. Uh, like in a religious, in a ceremony kind of thing. So this almost like somebody is taking a pause and thinking about what this future was. Okay, and where is it? And this is when we started running into these cards here, which started, so I don't know, is it you're worried about what could be? Because you're not welcoming. It's almost like you're like they're thinking it's almost like this, what was so full of cups is now all about thought. Because we have swords, swords, and swords. At least there's a progression. We go from the four of swords to the seven of swords to the queen of swords, which is progress. That's moving up. And then we have the nine of swords, which is just being very in your head. I'm not sleeping. I'm trying to figure this out, and it's just not figuring out. And then it's like when you finally figure it out, you're just like, you know what? The heck with it. I'm going for it, Leo. You're running. This is this is you going for it. And I have to tell you, it works out. 
because you got the Ten of Cups again. You got the Ten of Cups twice. If you don't get your head together, because look at, I really believe this is how you see this person. This is the Empress. The Empress is is the mother of the Zodiac. She has the 12 stars in her uh, on her crown. Well, it's not a crown, however you want to choose it, her hat, whatever. She exemplifies everything that you would want in someone of the opposite sex or same sex, depending on your choice. You know, she's the end all and be all. So to me, and if you look, let's see. Yeah, I mean, this is a, this relationship it starts out being the Ten of Cups and there's something going on that you're just not movement. Like someone is thinking too much. There's no heart involved. It's like they're saying, well, I got it. You know, I got to do this. I want to go do this. I'm going to think about it and do this. And then they're appearing so cold after all this. And the other person's like, well, wait a minute, you know, I, I can't do this. And then someone says, you know what? That's it. I want this. I want what we had. And that's why I think the Knight of Wands is going to the back, going backwards to the Ten of Cups, because by having the courage to rush in, it's the Ten of Cups all over again. It's complete fulfillment with the perfect person of your dreams. So I'm not pulling any more cards because I think this is just too good. Who gets ten, two Ten of Cups? This is like the best. These are two people who absolutely love each other. Even if there's moments of question, of, of feeling like it's not working quite the way you wanted and someone's holding back and thinking too much. And you know what you got <laughs> within the next few months? Opportunity. And if you look, look at all that. Look at all that opportunity flowing down. I believe that while you're so, you know, worried about what's going to happen and the other person is not seeming like they're going to do anything, I think within the next few months is when this all becomes clear and this relationship goes back to being that 10 of cups and the opportunity is there for you guys to move on, move forward and get back to what once was. And in the meantime, you are going to need support from friends and family because sometimes it's just going to feel like I'm just so in my head, I need this and you'll have to have somebody talk you down. So when I look at this card, it looks like you're going here. And when you get there, this is what's there. It's kind of like this. You travel along this golden path until you get to this. And I can't tell if it's coming from her or going to her, but either way, it's beautiful. So thank you so much for being here, Leo. Be safe, be careful. Your love life looks wonderful. If you enjoyed the reading or if it resonated, give me a thumbs up, please. Leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.